Pia Sandorini. Hello and welcome back to my channel, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today we are doing a beautiful walking tour of Ia Sandorini here in Greece. I am so excited to show you this absolutely gorgeous, stunning, stunning town here on the island of Sandorini. One of the most famous places I feel like in the world. So many people come here every single year and get, of course, their Instagram worthy pictures all throughout the town, village and island. So I wanted to do something a little bit different this time for this video. Normally what I do is I start from the beginning of the town and then work my way into all of the main attractions but this time i wanted to start from the main attractions and then work my way backwards to all of those little hidden gems hidden side roads hidden cafes and restaurants that i always love to capture and explore and those are going to be at the end of the video so comment down below and tell me if you kind of like this method better to where i show you you know what everyone kind of flocks to these towns for the main areas first and then let me show you all of those hidden secret gems so let me know if you do like this kind of style better where i am starting in the main attractions and then again working my way to all of the secret hidden places that i find during these walking tours or let me know if you like when i start from the beginning and work my way all the way through the towns that i go to now the one thing that i want to say is that i did get here pretty early in the morning so as much as it's crowded it's really not that crowded for ia you once you come here you will see that it gets crazy crowded even way more crowded than what you see in this video everyone is wanting to get their pictures everyone is wanting to see the same thing um so i really did try to get here as early as possible because i wanted to make sure that i was able to get all of the views for you guys without having those crazy crowds in the way another reason why i wanted to come early morning was to avoid the heat now i know i talk about this in every single one of my videos and i will continue to talk about it in every single one of my videos because if i could even help one of you guys watching the video that is coming to Greece, then I feel I have done my part. So Greece gets very, very hot. The heat is very different and the sun can really get to you if you are not careful. In the beginning of the season, there was a lot of accidents, unfortunately. And I don't wanna say a lot, but there was a few accidents and I want to make sure that I am able to help you guys when you're coming to Greece. So with that being said, when you come to Greece and you want to explore the way that I do, walk around and you will see that is kind of what the life is in Greece. Even the locals do it where they will walk around at nighttime around the towns. But during the day, especially if you are past the morning time, even the morning gets a little overwhelming. I got very overwhelmed during this video. This is actually a part one of a part two because I could not um, film anymore for the day and I had only really gotten half of the town. So again, make sure you're subscribed to get the second part of Ia. But even for myself that I am used to this, I've grown up in Greece every single summer. But you will also see in all of my videos, I always wear a hat. Please make sure when you are going to explore, you do it in the morning hours or you do it in the early evening hours. And if you are not going to follow those, um, you know, kind of recommendations, please always make sure you're wearing a hat, you have sunblock, you have water with you. And if you could even take it a step further and have a snack with you, fruit, juice, or something, because 
it can get, like I said, very hot, but the heat and the sun is very different and it can get to you. You will go from feeling okay to not feeling good at all. And that's actually what happened to me in this video. And um, it's actually a kind of funny story. I... Um, I had shared this in another video. I was like, okay, I'm just, you know, calling it a day for right now. And I wanted to experience Ia. So I go and I sit at a beautiful cafe restaurant that had the most stunning view. And I see them walking around with these huge salads that were like pouring out of the bowl from what I could see. And I was like, oh my God, I am totally getting a beautiful, refreshing salad. And I have this amazing view. And they come with the salad and this... <laughs> And there was the world's smallest salad I have ever seen in my life. It was one of those bowls where, or those plates that it looks, it's a very big plate, but it has a very small hole where they actually put the food. So it looks like it's, the food is kind of coming out of the plate, but it's really just because the hole is so small. <laughs> And there's not a lot of food, so it looks like it's overstuffed, but it's really not. So I looked at the world's smallest salad. I ate it. I looked at the world's most beautiful view. I paid the 18 euro, and then I think after the tip or whatever, it was like 19 something. And I left and I went and got a souvlaki. And I still laugh about this every time I think about this story because... That's what's going to happen in Ia, letting you guys know, being absolutely honest. Um, but if you kind of know anything about Ia, you're not really paying for anything else besides those amazing views. Um, so I took it for what it was. I enjoyed it for what it was. And then I went and I fed myself some food that had nourishment, um, you know, to get myself through the rest of the day because the point of that story was that the heat was getting to me so just make sure guys that you are just listening to yourself don't push yourself and just be very very aware of everything that you're doing and the surroundings another thing i want to say is that the stairs, not only just in Ia, but in Fira as well, if you are gonna be exploring Sandorini altogether. Um, the steps on a lot of these, um, in almost all of the areas, unfortunately, these are very old towns and they made them with marble. So these can get very, very slippery. Uh, you will see some people slipping kind of throughout the video. You will even see the donkeys slipping. And just make sure that you're also wearing the correct shoes. That is another thing also. I fortunately know about this and knew about it, so I wore the correct shoes. But I still, even with, I felt I had shoes that had a good grip, was still kind of sliding. So please also make sure that you are aware of that and you are wearing the proper shoes. Now I understand ladies, we always want to get our beautiful pictures. So, um, you know, and a lot of us do those flying dresses and, or just, you know, have your own beautiful pictures. So I totally understand that. But again, just use caution because a lot of the times people don't realize and they'll just start walking along and, I saw a lot of women dressed up and just looking beautiful and almost injuring themselves. So just again, a little piece of advice. I really always try to make my videos not just, you know, full of the content and beautiful views, but also some helpful information for any of you that are going to be your first time coming to Greece and to all of the places that I have already filmed. There is so many playlists that I have for you for Greece. There is so many videos that I have made throughout different parts of Greece, different islands, different towns, villages, so many things. Athens, I mean, you name it, I have gotten a lot and so much more content still to come. Another thing that I wanted to speak about is that I always get questions about where I book all my travel. 
So I am a pretty a loyal person and a loyal customer, especially if I have been doing something for a very long time and I've also done my due diligence with research and I am pretty knowledgeable when it comes to fair prices, what prices should be for flights for specific areas, what hotels should be, what vacation packages should be, resorts, stuff like that. So I actually use one specific website for basically all of my booking, for my flights, for my hotels, for my car rentals, for my vacation packages, literally everything. And that link is going to be in the video description down below. So if you guys are looking for definitely reasonable prices and being able to travel and, you know, this travel not just be some type of bucket list travel, but travel where you can actually go and do this travel now because you are able to really get good deals. And the website that I use, I also signed up for free. I mean, over a decade ago, I'm dating myself, um, but, I get member pricing, I get member discounts, and I also get money back for every time that I book my travel with them, and then I can use that money back on the website to book more travel. So, I mean, it's really a no-brainer. I'm already getting member specific member pricing, like exclusive member pricing, the discounts, and money back. So that is how I am able to go to all of these places. I was in Athens for over a week, then I was in Paros, then I was in Crete for six weeks, then I was in Sandorini for a few weeks, then I was in Naxos for over a week. I mean, I mean, I have really been able to travel beautifully in the way that I want to. And as much as I spoil myself with travel, and if I want to stay at a specific place, I will, that does not mean that I am not looking for the best deals. Why not? If I could save a few hundred dollars and then that be an evening out or an excursion that I want to treat myself to, why wouldn't I want to do that, right? So definitely check those out. I also have a few other links down there if you want to check those out as well. So again, if you have any questions or, you know, anything, comment down below. I answer everyone and even anyone who reaches out to me on Instagram at Life with Rule, if they have specific questions because they have, you know, their trip planned in Greece and, you know, they can't find the answer. If I know the answer to it and if I can help you, I absolutely will. So enjoy the rest of this beautiful walking tour of Ia in Sandorini, Greece. So many more beautiful views to come and a lot of those little side street hidden places that I was talking about.
Opa!
Good morning, Alexi. We will meet tomorrow at 